Well, moments ago, high king tide started hitting the Oregon coast and they'll continue to roll in this weekend. Elise Haas is in Seaside with the latest on this weather phenomenon. You see these spectacular waves, 25, 28 foot waves hitting the coast. Water is all just in a turmoil, it's frothing. Longtime seaside residents know the king tide all too well, saying this force of nature is unpredictable. You see monstrous waves and it has this beauty, I mean it's this rugged beauty all to itself, and it's really spectacular. But you do have to be very careful because the sneaker waves can come up there and take people right off the beach, and that happens quite often, more often than you would think. Phil McCurdy and his buddy Bob McNamee sat down to talk weather with me in the seaside coffee house, swapping storm stories. Sometimes we can get uh, three or four inches of rain in a day, and uh, I mean, that's a lot of rain. Heavy rains and high winds paired with the seasonal king tide is the perfect storm coming this weekend, making headlands extremely vulnerable and erosion of beaches highly likely. City officials want residents and visitors to prepare for possible flooding in low-lying areas along the coast, including Highway 26. I love being out there at times and watching that ocean. People can be wowed by the waves, but seaside residents will warn you. You don't ever turn your back on the, on the ocean. Because the king tide could take you out. The coastal cities so far have had a fairly calm fall as well as start to the winter. So this is really the first big storm to talk about that's coming this weekend. They're anticipating that the king tides will be coming today as well as throughout Saturday and Sunday. And so when those king tides hit, city officials are asking you to stay off the beaches. When the king tides come, they can take these logs and throw them as far as into the parking lot and they don't want you to be in harm's way. So if you do decide to come out and watch these wondrous waves, they're asking you to keep your distance and to keep it safe. Reporting in Seaside, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.